What's going on, everybody? James here, urban-picker.com. Uh, that is my eBay store. And today we're going to go over what sold yesterday. Uh, it's my first video, so bear with me as I'm trying to create a process here for this. Uh, what this is intended to do is to help people, help other sellers uh, to keep an eye out for different things and uh, help them be on the lookout for, if you will, and try to help you better your business, better your sales, better your knowledge, because the knowledge is what matters when you're buying to resell. You have to know if you're passing something up that may be worth some money. So we're going to get into this. What I'm going to do is I'm not going through everything that's sold. I'm just going through around $10 or higher because that's pretty much the only stuff that's worth anybody's time. Um, I will give you the prices that they sold for. Um, I did Yesterday was a pretty damn good day for me. Um, I got up near my high end of my goal, my daily goal, so that was good. And so we are going to get into the high dollar items, the highest higher dollar items that sold. Ten dollars plus. There might be some that's a dollar less. Just I might have added them just because they're interesting. So we'll start here with this the vintage Alexis brand uh, button collar shirt. So I've got several different pictures of that. So you can check that out. There it is, Alexis. So that was pretty cool. Uh, this was actually featured in one of my episode videos I run. I believe this was Utopia. In the last Utopia video. Um, this is, oh, I knew this was going to be an issue. Okay. Figure this out. Might hear a lot of clicking here. Uh, this ended up, I took an offer for $12 on it. I had it up for $19. I paid cents for it, like 45 cents. So I went ahead and just took the offer to move it quick. We are on to the Billabong hat paid. This was another item. Most of these items are going to be like paid around 50 cents for. Let's just call it 50 cents to keep it easy. Um, this was $12. Well, at least the clear, the Goodwill outlet stuff. I'll, I'll let you know on the bigger stuff, but so this, yeah, $11.69, I paid about $0.45 cents for that. This here is a little Nintendo keychain. This is old school. This is vintage stuff. This I uh, sold for $46.74. I've had this for a long time. Uh, I have probably about four storage areas filled with product I have bought over the last 18 years of purchasing. This was one of those items that I had, so technically what I have in it, I have no idea because it's years gone by. So, on to the next. Oh, crap, I accidentally closed that window. What was that? That was this one. Uh, that was nothing much anyway. It was a CD called Ludo, sold for $30. I don't know who that band is. I didn't look it up. L-U-D-O is the artist. This is a Hamilton Broadway two-disc soundtrack. Sold for $15. These were just featured in one of my video series. I don't remember which one. These are the MBT, the Athletic Walking Shoes. Sold these for $40. I think I paid $4 for these. This here is a vintage Woolrich wool sweater. With your little mallards or ducks, whatever the heck they are on there. Uh, this is $17. This one, I don't remember if I got out the outlet. Ooh, I think I got this at a thrift store for four bucks, if I remember correctly. Uh, sold for 17. A little Mario lamp light. I've had a lot of these sold for 9.55. I want to say I paid like a dollar or two dollars for them at something like a Marshalls or something like that. I believe it was a Marshalls. 
that's been a while. I've been sitting on those probably for over a year. You can probably tell by the background. It's a little different than what I'm currently using. Uh, just a Key West typical um, t-shirt. I'm scrolling as I'm doing this. Sorry. Uh, sold for $9. This was more than likely a Goodwill outlet buy. I usually don't buy these kind of t-shirts unless they're at the outlet. So the price paid on these for it was under 50 cents. So sold for $9. And this is a child's, a youth, uh, St. Louis Cardinals jacket. Had this in the store for some time, as you can tell by the background. This just sold. I sold for $12.50. This was probably another Goodwill outlet item, so under 50 cents into it. Look at that bad lighting. Woo! That's when I first moved into my office up here. Fell in the background, and I had no lighting yet. Um, this is uh, sold for $31.50. This I did get at the Goodwill outlet, and I paid under 50 cents. At that time, I don't think the prices were raised over there, so it was probably more like 30 to 35 cents I paid for this. This is a pan nil sweatshirt. Uh, sold it for $15.52. And that would have been another Goodwill outlet item. So under 50 cents. This is actually a, a consignment item for a friend. I got, I think, seven more of these left in the store. So this sold for $18, and my consignment rate is 50%. So I made $9 personally off this item. And why I charge 50% is... With eBay fees and everything, that's 15% right off the bat. Plus, I promote my store. I promote my listings and all that. So it takes a lot in fees to, you know, sell this item, to sell all items. And, of course, my trouble for taking the picture and shipping it and everything. So I charge 50% on my consignment. I have a few consigners who find stuff and I sell for them. So they don't have to worry about it. Uh, two cassettes, Morrissey. I put them in a lot together. Sold them for $10.27. pair of Cole Haan black slip on loafers, women's shoes. Sold for $20.49. This was either an outlet pickup for under 50 cents or it was a thrift store item that I probably paid four bucks for. Or actually, or it could have been free because a friend gave me literally a truckload of clothes and shoes. This could have been one of those items now that I'm looking at it because there's no name in there. It's possible. So it's one or the other. It's either free, $4, or under 50 cents. <laughs> there is an Aerosmith cassette lot. I'm sitting on probably 100,000 cassettes in storage. One of my loves to sell is music. Um, so I've been starting to move them quicker and just put them in lots to get rid of them. Uh, I sold these for $16.64. All righty, this is a Carolina Gamecock. Oh, what do you say? T-shirt, women's T-shirt. And that sold for $11.69. That was more than likely an outlet item also. This is a Talbot's, Talbot's women's top. This was actually just featured, I think, in one of my videos. I don't know which one. And this sold for 10 bucks. And this was probably an outlet item also. Um, okay. Why was that there? All right, so we got this. Shell, this gas and oil project type of vintage hat here. Sold that for 15 bucks. This, I believe, was a consignment item, so I made $7.50 for myself on that. I had tons of these. I had bought 
tons of these two years ago at a big box retail clearance markdown. That's where I got a lot of my nightmare stuff. I uh, sold this one for $10. This is the Cummings jacket, which was just featured on one of my videos. Maybe the eBay way could have been if that was the case. Let's see. You know, this is the eBay way. I paid four bucks for it. It was one of my other videos. I picked it up at the thrift or at the outlet, the bins, and it would have been under 50 cents. And I ended up taking an offer because as soon as I put it up, he sent me an offer for 15 bucks. I had it up for 30, offered me 15 right off the bat. And you know me, I'm about the quick money. So boom, boom, it was gone. And then it looks like the last high dollar item for yesterday is just this CD that I'm not even going to pronounce. Sakamoto, Sakamoto, 2000, and I passed that up. Where is it? That sold for 14.27. So there was yesterday's big dollar, over ten dollar items that sold. Um, uh, maybe next time I'll get a total of how many pieces I actually sold. And at least you'll know what I sell that's under $10. I sell a lot of stuff that's under $10 too, being that we get it so cheap at the outlet. So there you are, everybody. Hopefully uh, some of that will be implanted in your memory next time you go outsourcing. And thanks for watching. Now if I can figure out how to turn this thing off. I saw that thing pop down a couple of times. Where are you at? There it is. All right. Thanks, everybody, for watching. Later.